Welcome back, everybody, to Games Played Terribly. Harvest, Harvest Moon. Roger's taking a couple of laps here around the, uh... Just hanging out with my dog. Hanging out with the dog, putting down the dog. Uh, yeah, so it's a new day. It's summer. Oh. You gotta, you gotta feed your chickies. Yeah. We're pretty close. We're like halfway to your house, yeah? 20 yeah, something. Yeah, but How I... much wood do we have, though? See, that's the thing, too. I think we had we... enough. We gotta check and see how much lumber we've got before we, um... I'm pretty sure that we had enough. Okay, if we've got enough, that's good. I mean, it, it would probably be good to get more eventually, because we're gonna need it for the bigger house. But, uh, if we have enough for this one now, then that's... That's probably good. Are you gonna give one of those to Ellen? Yeah, of course. Yes, uh, every single time. So what do you got? Dude, you got six? You got six chickens. Six chicky poos. That's a lot of chickens. Hopefully you have enough grass. Is your grass ready, do you think, now? Finally? It might be. At least one patch of it? Hopefully? There's only one way to find out. That's true. And that's to chop it down! That's to give it a chop. Give it a chop. A, ch a shot. A chop. So, uh, oh. Oh. Dude, you're- Oh, oh your tomatoes are done! Red. So, that's good. Hi. Get some, Hi, get Mizzy. some money. Get some money. Yeah. The, uh, I think I have enough wood. I think we, uh... To, to upgrade my house. Don't quote me on that. Yeah, we'll just check when we get back. Yeah. There's no, no harm in checking. No harm in taking a look-ski. Alright, so let's go back. I would go back to the farm and then take a look at your grass. See, if, well, I, well, first of all, harvest your tomatoes. Yeah, the tomatoes are more important than the grass right now. Tomatoes are, are definitely... The priority. Because even if priority. I fed my chickens today, that could wait till tomorrow, technically. Yeah. So, <laughs> did you see the new teaser for Star Wars? There's a new teaser? Yeah, there was like a new, yeah. <gasps> what? Yeah. Like today? Uh, like I think yesterday. What? No! Or, or it's just one I haven't seen before. Okay. But, it's pretty Or like an older one that you forgot? What was the teaser? It was, uh, it was, I mean it's, it, it's a rehashing of most of the other clips, but then okay. it has, uh, a little Han Solo moment that I appreciated. Ooh. Ooh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll have to take a look. It was rad. I'm so excited. I'm ready for that movie. I am so ready. I'm so I'm ready and we're also, in the month, like, dude. We're within the month. It's we're I'm, a couple a couple weeks. I'm excited, but also I am terrified. Dude, I'm 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 just excited. I don't know. If it's bad, then it'll be like, okay, that sucks. The uh the See, here's the here's the thing. I thought, if you asked me in 1999, I would have said there's no way that this is going to be bad. Right. And then Star Wars: The Phantom Menace came out. Yeah, exactly. And I mean, that's everything. It's, I'm like super hyped for it, but I don't know. If it sucks, then I think a huge part of the internet will breathe a collective sigh of relief and yeah. go back into their holes. <laughs> <laughs> and and just uh, I'm I'm so excited for it though. I don't think it's gonna be bad. I hope it's not. Was well, that a frog? That was a frog, yeah. Dude, I think it's gonna be good. I don't know, from everything that I've seen of it, all of the trailers yeah. and the, t the yeah. you know the trailer. Same and, thing happened and, with Phantom Menace. Yeah, I know, but I don't know, this one this one feels that one felt like a different thing. Cause it was like shiny yeah. and new. What, what and this one feels right <laughs> watering your crops. Yeah, but besides that, I was gonna do something. Um ch check your wood. Oh yeah, that was it. Fine. Check your wood. There's no time constraints on that, so you don't have to rush. There 1050, we go. dude! So think about that. Get you're gonna get money. you're gonna get corn soon, which is even more. Corn's like I don't remember how much you're gonna get like five hundred and fourteen hundred out of it or something. I think I think you need five hundred pieces, yeah, yeah, so that's probably good. Um I'd water these guys. I mean Yeah, you're not gonna get that money like tomorrow, so I guess it doesn't matter if you have the enough wood right now anyway. Well, I do have enough wood, though, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Should we do the cow first, or should we do the addition? I don't know, dude. The cow mm. is gonna bring in, like, a couple hundy every day. What if the, you uh... You know what I mean? So a cow's a good investment, uh, because... What if Boba Fett's in the new Star Wars? Dude, do you think... No, he won't be. Do you think they would? No, they wouldn't. <sighs> Part of me really but, wants them to, but no. I mean, yeah, like an old Boba Fett. Yeah. Like, like I a gristled, skipped a Salak. A gristled, yeah. Like a gristled old Boba Fett. Yeah. And they get Tamura Morrison. 
<laughs> That'd be really funny, actually. Uh, <laughs> the, uh... Yeah, no, I think that that'd be really rad. I mean, Boba Fett is like, Boba Fett. Boba Fett is. He's got to be. Hold on, let's look at this timeline here. Okay. Uh, Luke's eighteen in A New Hope, right? Yeah, something. And like And then that. it's like a year after Empire Strikes Back takes place, or how many years after? Two to it's, three. It's three. I think three. it's three in between each one because yeah. it's like pretty much real time with when they were released. Yeah, and so. Luke's 18, Boba Fett is like a kid when episode 2 comes out. Like 13, let's say 13, right? 13, yeah. And then just thinking about how old Obi-Wan Kenobi got yeah. over that time. Yeah, dude. Unless, unless, unless the desert it. just really didn't treat him well. <laughs> yeah, well, I, just feel I don't like think the Boba desert Fett's probably late well. 30s, 40s by the time... Empire comes out, right? The 30s, maybe? Yeah, so I'd say so. Something like that. The, uh, Late 30s. And then, so now, he would be... <laughs> That's gonna be funny. Check it. Chuck on. That would be interesting if they had Boba Fett. Yeah, I think it would be cool. I mean, how old's Chewbacca now? That's true. Well, I think that Wookiee lifespans are probably different than, than oh, those of I'm humans. Out. I'm out! You're out of seeds. Oh, there we go. There you go. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Interesting, interesting questions. The Star Wars universe has always perplexed me because they, like... People have just come up with reasons to explain away things, you know? Like, well, uh, I mean, that's, like the that's whole, any fiction. Well, yeah, any, 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 uh, fa- like, fan group will do that. and Or any expanded sort of universe that yeah. will do that. Well, no, this is this way because this is, uh... Yeah. See, he did this and then the other thing and he drank this life potion. I mean, comic yeah. books are that way, too. Yeah, it's Like, true. fucking Batman, anytime anybody comes back, it's because that G.D. Lazarus pit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, with the Lazarus pit, we were born by the Lazarus pit and Superman died, but then he came back you because, you know, it's an alternate the timeline. Lazarus you just pit. don't understand. It's just an advertisement yeah. for the Lazarus pit. Yeah, right? That's <laughs> honestly what it is. The, uh... But that seems to be, like, one of the big things. Or, like, it's, like, fucking, uh... The Dragon Balls. Oh, yeah. Or, like, a fucking Yeah, Sensu it doesn't beads. matter if people die, as long as you give them a dragon... You know, as long, Or, yeah, it doesn't matter how be- bad you, badly you've been beaten. As long as you eat a Sensu Bean, you're fine. You'll be... You'll be A-OK. Whoa! What? Is it Sunday, dude? What day is it? I think it's Saturday. Oh, yeah. Which is why she's there and not in church. Oh, yeah. Good call. Oh, that peddler is not there. Good call. The peddler. Yeah, it, like the the parsecs thing is one of those things. Yeah, twelve where parsecs. It's like, you know, twelve parsecs is a unit of of distance, and then it's like, well, yeah, but the race wasn't a race of time. It was like who could get there in the least. It was a race of passion. Like the yeah, it's like who could get to the end. Like, damn it, in the shortest line, I guess. This chicken like feet. with the least amount of distance. Stuff is not my ideal. And so he, like, flew through, like, black holes, or, like, around black holes and shit to, like, manipulate. I'm like, whatever, dude, just, like, let it be a a line in a movie. You know, I made the Kessel run in under 12 parsecs. Let it be a line in a movie, because that's, like, what what it is. That seems very, like, real, though, because it's like, well, I did in 12 parsecs. Like, I fuck. yeah, I, it sounds cool. Yeah, it sounds good either way. It or it's one of those matter. things where he says it, and then he like thinks about it. He's like, "Wait, that fucking made no sense." Yeah, dude, he's <laughs> like, he's a real he's a real person with yeah. flaws. I mean, he's a scoundrel. That's why he's not fucking, really a scoundrel. Yeah, he is a scoundrel. Well, he he's known as the scoundrel. He tries. The uh, he tries to be yeah. He tries. A scoundrel with a heart of gold. The uh, <laughs> yeah, it, like just the whole Greedo thing too. Oh god, the shooting first. It's like yeah. let Han shoot first. Why wouldn't he, dude? Greedo's gonna shoot him. Why wouldn't he shoot first? Yeah, it makes He's no sense. He's Han Solo. And it's supposed to be like a Wild West cowboy. He's exactly. supposed to be like a cowboy. Exactly. Let him... Hey, come on. Let him be the guy who, like, does the dirty work. We... Well, maybe Harrison, uh, Harrison Ford is... He's the cool guy, so we don't want the cool guy But I mean, be. like, look at the guy he kills. He's like this gangster dude. It's not like they're, like, glorifying him being violent well, against, and it's like, like, innocent people, you know? He doesn't have a lightsaber, man. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't have, like, the Jedi mind powers, you know? Yeah, he's he just got a blaster. That's yeah. him. It's him and him versus the world. And he's got a Wookiee, to be fair. That's but. true. He does have a Wookiee. To one of but his, when his Wookiee's not there, all he's got is a blaster. Yeah. And the Millennium Falcon. Well, yes, that's true, and the Millennium Falcon. 
and uh, his wife, Princess Leia. Princess Leia. I don't know though, dude. Uh, all the uh, why am I doing this again? All the expanded universe stuff has kind of gone by the way, so maybe they break up. Yeah, who knows? We have no idea. Who knows? I don't know. It's a uh, part of me is like maybe they did. Maybe, maybe they, did. they did. Maybe they broke maybe, up. Maybe they haven't spoken to each other in years. <laughs> maybe and all three like of those reunion. people wandered different paths, though. Like, yeah. you know, maybe they're all separated out. Maybe Han went his own way, left the rebellion once it was all over. Uh, and once maybe when him got into a fight, you know, or something, or a disagreement about things, ethics-wise. Yeah, sure. You know, you never know. You never know. We, and then, and we, then, so when they know. see each other for the first time, it's oh, like yeah, it's again, chickens. it's like, oh, it's like, oh shit, man, dude. this has some weight to it, yeah, bro. This has some weight. A God present, damn it, a presence chicken. I haven't felt since <laughs> since the return of the Jedi. 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 I'm really excited for Andy Serkis as the main, like, bad Sith. Me too. I don't even know if they're Sith, but Dark Jedi, whatever. I mean, he's got a lightsaber, so... Yeah, but that Dark, Dark... I mean, now this is Expanded Universe shit, but uh, right. Dark Jedi were, had red lightsabers. But I mean, like, he's, like, worshipping Vader's helmet. I feel like he's gotta be Sith if he's, like, worshipping Vader's twisted... But here's the thing. helmet. Here's the thing. <laughs> the... I... I don't necessarily think so. Okay. I I think that, like, what if the tradition... Like, how is the tradition getting passed on? You know? Right. Because the Sith, it's like one person teaches another person who teaches another person. And uh, I don't know if you were there, but Darth Vader, I don't think, really taught it. He was trying to teach Luke. Right. I hope my dad stays healthy at all times to Ellen. So he can berate me. I know. I mean, that's when the he mis- comes back to my farm. <laughs> <laughs> that's like that's like what's so good about about the Star Wars crew not spoiling this fucking movie. You know what I mean? About them being so tight lipped. Yeah. Is that like we have no idea? We have no idea who Kylo Ren is. You know, or which like, can just lead to major or disappointment. Like, which can. But that's like, I mean, that's like really on the people who set up their expectations that way, I Dude, guess. my expectations are so high. Yeah, but you're not like expecting a specific thing, are you? You I'm just expecting are expecting something Menace. awesome. Yeah. You're just expecting something awesome. I'm really expecting the Phantom Menace, let's be honest. <laughs> I'm like really excited. I'm really, really, really excited. And you're expecting but a bunch of people to walk out of the theater going, oh man. I'm, I'm expecting there to be a Jar Jar... I'm just expecting the worst, and not Darth Banks. <laughs> I mean, it's probably good to expect the worst because then whatever they give you will either meet or exceed expectations. Yeah. It was like, you know, like watching the other, like watching Attack of the Clones when we watched it again, and then watching Revenge of the Sith, except for the Frankenstein, like, oh no, moment. It was like, you know what? I can live with this as a Star Wars movie. Although rewatching them after I watched the original trilogy, it's like man, these look fake as hell. Yeah. With all the blue, uh, the green screen and that kind of stuff. Yeah. Oh man, what are you doing, Georgie? That's what I'm saying what though about doing, these. Georgie? That's why I'm excited just purely about the aesthetic of these films because yeah. of what we've seen from the trailers. Yeah. Is that it? It meets my expectations of how it should look. Yeah. You know, and that's me personally when I look at Star Wars stuff. Here's the thing. Like. What, I, no, you go ahead. I'll finish. Just like that dirty, gritty, like practical, like model use, you know, where you can clearly tell that somebody put a lot of work into a physical piece of this, and it's not just like a green screen with with a bunch of effects plastered onto it, you know? Here's the thing with that. I feel like if... Watching the EMP, uh, like we went to the EMP and saw all the Star Wars costumes, yeah. and the, a lot of uh, some of the set pieces. Holy shit, that's a lot of chickens. The uh, it's an empire, Raj. It it's an empire. Los pollos hermanos. The uh, nope. Can I just throw you in the bin? Chicken, <laughs> chicken. Just throw the, the chicken uh, in yeah. the bin. Is this all the shipping? Oh god, <laughs> it's a live chicken. The, uh, I'm gonna say that one for the last. God damn. Uh, this is getting to be a struggle. Um, no, but it was really interesting to re- see the reasons why George Lucas did the way the things they did. Yeah, because it was uh, the Empire was a very different time than the Republic. Yeah, 
True. And it was a time of decadence, and there was everything was very regal, and you had a very uh, it was lavish, and there was no kind of uh, end in sight to this kind of uh, romantic kind of uh, well off oligarchy kind of slash republic. Right. Um, to where there weren't a lot of things going on. I need to give that to Ellen. Uh, and then the Empire hit, and then basically everything goes to shit, and it becomes more of this kind of like post-apocalyptic thing, to where everything's much more practical, it's necessary. Like, I get the aesthetics of the two different things. I just, oh, the corn's oh, ready! the corn's in, dude! I know, I'm just saying that I, uh, from a from a movie-going point of view, from a space western... Oh, like, I think everyone relates flick. more to... Yeah, I think that the aesthetic everyone of the Everyone relates more to the other one. Appeals more That's to not me. what I'm saying. I yeah. understand the reason. Oh, yeah, think, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that and I get that, too. I understand that, like, the ships look newer... In the prequels, because yes. they fucking are, Be- and like the you know the the suits look newer and everything looks newer because they're supposed to. The, I think that if he would have made everything new like that, it, I think it probably would have been way better. But see, like this I is think a- it would have been really expensive. Oh, though. and the tomatoes, dude! You're in a cycle now. Holy shit! This is huge. So keep. This is a big keep, moment. You might not be able to sell all these in one day though, because it's pretty late now. That's the problem with with having so many crops, is you might the guy might come by before you're done. Oh no, I'm gonna fish it all. Oh no, oh no. But like looking at the trailer and stuff for the new one, just like the build it, the big white building with the big red flag, and it's yeah. like very imperialistic, and it just looks oh it looks so good. Yes, yeah, see, I'm I'm good. I'm excited. I oh yeah, it's noon now. I think when you eat, it's twelve. I got time. I got all the time. I got all the time in the world. The, uh, yeah. You gonna do all the corn first? You're gonna dip into those maters. No, I'm gonna do yeah, all the corn. Yeah, all the corn. Good call. Um, yeah, I'm really excited for it too. Captain kind of Phantasma looks sweet. Silver Star Trooper played by a woman. Yeah, dude. Big fan of that. Also, in the, uh, I don't want to spoil it too much for you, but I don't think in the poster it just had a uh, Finn with the lightsaber. I'm starting to think that maybe it's a dual Jedi situation. What do you mean? That Finn and Rey are both Jedi. Oh yeah, I was. I thought that from the beginning. To be honest, I think that that's really cool. I thought that if from that's the what it is. Oh, but if it's not, then that's okay. They'll find a, you know, they'll find a good use of that character. Yeah. And I think that uh, Poe, the guy who's the X-wing pilot, I think that he's got to be the uh, the Han Solo type. Well, I mean, they have Han Solo, I so know. you don't really necessarily. But I don't know need how for how long. Yeah, that's true. Harrison, that's true. he might not do another one. That's true. Fuck, dude, dude, you're cutting it close. Oh, oh no! Oh, oh thirty-seven eighty. Are you dude. kidding me? Oh man, don't, don't, don't take that one. What are you doing? No, I know. That's, I'm. Just... You gotta water him now. Hi, Mimsy. Damn, dude, that was that was. That it's because I, I stuttered. I stuttered. Could have gotten that last mater in. Alright. Yeah. Mimsy, will you just <laughs> fucking cool it? <laughs> Mimsy, stay. Good. Good girl. Dude, she's, uh, she's a lap cat. The, uh, I know, but Look she... at Zora sprawled out in her tree over there, happy as a clam. Yeah. The, uh... <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so... Dude, it's gonna be great. It's gonna, it's gonna make a great terror blog. Yep. Fuck yeah. Spoilers. If Very I were to wear, like, I don't normally wear shirts that say, like, that promote things. Yeah. But I would consider getting a Star Wars shirt. Yeah, dude, I think I'm going to dress up for the occasion. That's a big, like, that's a big thing for me to even say. Yeah, I know. I'm just going to get a full body Chewbacca. <laughs> Maybe I'll just wear my Bigfoot mask. There you go. <laughs> the, uh... Joey, is that you? There, Star Wars, Revenge of the Sith. Yeah. Uh, my f- good friend Dane, who you know, <laughs> who and I, know. I yes. got uh, ordered those really expensive lightsabers at uh, oh, yeah, on the, the internet. Oh, uh, yeah, the, the effects and ones. the last day of high school that we ever had, we ditched the first three periods to go to the airport to DHL to pick those up. Nice. And then we showed up at school... <laughs> After third period, with our lightsabers, and everyone was like losing their shit. Yeah, dude. 
It was so cool. Those were cool lightsabers. Yeah, yeah, they were neat. And then we saw the Revenge of the Sith. Revenge of the Sith happened on my last day of high school. That dates me a little bit. <laughs> but dude, okay yeah, I had that. a I had a pre calc final <clears throat> early that morning, and then I left school. We early. actually didn't I did see it the rest. together. Yeah, I went over. I went to the Cine Capri in Phoenix. Yeah, I I went to another one. I don't know where, but I went with some other people. But yeah. we, we had plans to see it together, but then it just fell through because you had already gotten your tickets with yeah, the group, yeah, yeah. and I was trying yeah. to, but then I couldn't. So yeah, we showed up like super early. Yeah. I waited in line for thir- like thirteen hours. I probably would have waited waited longer, but I had a pre calc final. Yeah, and so I got there, waited. I was on the news. Because my buddy Phil and I had these fake lightsabers. Yeah. And they did, like, this TV bump that was like, we're here at the Star Wars line, more at 11. And then it, like, pans over. (laughs) And we (laughs) we were fighting with our lightsabers. And Phil's dad calls, like, you were on the fucking news. It was the best, dude. Yeah, I don't know why I'm going out. Why are you taking your dog? (laughs) Anyway, I think this is a good place to... uh, Oh, you're showing him your your tomato. (laughs) Look at this. Look this what I achieved. Look, this is what I work for. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. This Tune- is your new brother. <laughs>